Gamers, it is with deep sorrow I start this video. I am lost for words here. I definitely want your condolences in the comments below. We had a major loss. Yes, we had BBC cancel not long ago. I mean, first of all, I salute to Captain BBC, guys. I cannot even do that Bruh. right now. Man, like, massive loss that we went down, guys. I don't think you guys are ready for this one. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Raise your hands if you are ready for Larry Croft, Woke Raider. My God, what we the hell? talk about the direction of Netflix's what the hell? Tomb Raider, the legend of Laura Croft. I gotta be honest, when I saw IGN publish the latest sneak peek of what was coming for this Laura Croft series, I was like, Bro! Bro! They can't keep getting away with this! They can't! Not Lara! Not Lara! No, nah, you think it's crazy, bro! You think it's crazy! Man, yeah, there was just one franchise that I didn't want it to see go down like that and y'all think it's doing <laughs> These things are crazy! Before we had this, they turned Lara Croft into Larry. Then they turned her into Lorenzo. Are what is going on, man? Damn, this like is crazy, bro. Hey, I'm actually excited about this. It's a show that I'm looking forward to watching. And then I saw it, and I was like, my God, what did they do to Lara? What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. <laughs> watching the trailer from IGN made me dive deeper into the background because I'm like. You can't just take Lara Croft and make her into a dude. That's yeah. really weird. Now, I know a lot of- Bro, these things are hella crazy. So first, they like gender swap, you know, the Jin Sakai in, Go uh, in Ghost of Tsushima. We heard that it was supposed to be Ghost of Tsushima 2. Reportedly, that's what we're hearing. They canceled that for political reasons and they, you know, inserted a woman there. Uh, and people are worried and hella suspect about that, that it might be like a girl boss. You know, Tomb Raider is like a franchise with <laughs> Lara Croft, one of the most uh, feminine character that there is. You you feel what I'm saying? Like, most feminine character, and people love this genre, people love this franchise, people want to see feminine characters. Now, things got so out of hand that you actually got, like, <laughs> actual females mad over this, and I get that, and I get it though! I get it though, you know, they fail so badly when there are actual females Hella, sus, uh, hella upset about it and understandably because they always make females look ugly and she ended up getting that uh the abby the brock lesnar treatment from the last of us two you know abby the brock lesnar yeah so now it's no longer lara crop it's uh lara lesnar or lorenzo lesnar right now bro like damn people say well it looks like the modern versions of the lara modern, you know the yeah. ones where it came out for ps4 and ps5 and pc and and those games it's it's more along the lines of the realism even though it's an animated series and i'm like okay I, i'm with you so far but but it still looks like a dude and it's really weird so i continue you, you got like listen man they but always do this bro it still looks they always do this to my black homies bro like damn this thing is crazy and the reason they do it is because man uh usually the black males are high in testosterone and that's a compliment though that's a compliment okay they're built you know they're tough men and they don't want to see that. They don't want to see that. So, you know what? Gotta make them fat. Gotta make them like that. You know what I'm saying? Low testosterone. They always do that. For a prime example, bro. You know, massive BBC shutdown. You know, I, I, I'm brown. So, I also have a brown BBC as Bruh. well, right? Like, but but here's the thing, man. Like, damn. Yasuke, real person, was not gay. They made him gay cause, just because he black. Just because he black, these suckers did that, bro. Just because he black. Like, damn, these suckers are hella racist with that shit, bro. I swear to God, man, they always do that. And uh, another one, I, 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 bro, I cannot ignore it. You cannot ignore it, bro. Like, look at that. Damn, bro. Damn, like, man. Looks like a dude, and it's really weird. So I continued researching, diving deeper into the background of the show. And wouldn't you know it, the director is Joey Soloway, formerly Jill Soloway, someone who changed their gender or is non-binary, but changed their name to, to a dude's name, even though they're a girl, and they're the director of the series, and they're the ones telling everyone how to inject themselves into it. And then we have what? someone like Marielle Hester, who's done the storyboards for it. And looking into the backgrounds of these people, I can't help but think, why are we doing this? 
if you want to inject woke ideology into animated series, come up with your own garbage. Don't take <laughs> Tomb Raider or anything else that's an established franchise hey, hey, hey. beloved by so many fans. Tranquilo, papi. Yo, papi, chill, papi. Listen, man. Come up with your own garbage, he said. They did. That's called Concord and Dustborn, and guess what? It failed. <laughs> It, it, it failed right okay now that's like the homie let me actually put I, I wish i could say psych right now guys i really wish i could say psych right now uh that's a friendly bbc online yeah last time we did like a call of duty video so that's why like i had those Bruh. default like templates default memes uh, that are relevant to that genre and to the game and the reason i just changed it like to this uh, it's because that was irrelevant and now this one is relevant because all the females looking like this understandably man, like everybody looking like that man damn homie damn man these suckers crazy bro suckers gonna be suckers i get it but these suckers crazy bro. and self insert yourself to push your ideologies Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article breaking down the Tomb Raider series on Netflix. Like and subscribe. The movie is just getting started, guys. You are early to this one. You are bright and early. We strong. We not. We not strong. I mean, we strong. Be independent too, but be not strong, independent, yeah, 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 you, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. Real quick, I need to shout out the homies here. Shout out to Brian. Shout out to Tony. F yeah, Tony. Yeah, man. Shout out to Tom, shout out to uh, The Fallen, shout out to Xander, shout out to Issa, shout out to Deacon, shout out to Nick, shout out to Pat, shout out to all of you guys that recently followed over on the Instagram. If you do have an Instagram, I would definitely love to have you guys uh, there. I also got a second channel, Scary X, where we upload conspiracies, UFOs, paranormal stuff every single day, so definitely check that one out. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. So it's coming out very soon, and it's a series that I was looking forward to for a very long time. Until I saw the latest trailer, because I'll be honest, the initial sneak peek they gave, they gave quick cuts of Lara, and it was really tough to tell how they were going to be animating her and what it was going to look like. But we saw what IGN just posted, Wait and holy crap, this tells us all we need to know. The latest trailer for the upcoming Tomb Raider Netflix cartoon dropped on IGN, giving everyone a good look at Lara Croft, or should I say, Larry Croft. Because once I saw how they depicted her, I couldn't help but roll my eyes. As someone genuinely interested in this act- Those arms are bigger than Brock Lesnar, bro. <laughs> Damn. In case you missed it, check out this exclusive clip from Netflix's new Tomb Raider. Ah, I don't want new! I don't want new! I just want Lara looking like Lara back then. Listen! I know there are a lot of people that would say that uh, even this version, they kind of wokeified and they nerfed her. And I'm not disagreeing with you. They did nerf it, but still, like, this version was hella cute, you know? It's like, I I'm a straight dude, like, I'm a straight dude. And, yeah, like, this character model was hella cute, and it was very good looking. Yeah, it was, right? Keyword was. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Keyword was. I And... They can keep getting away with this man. Damn, homie. Adaptation, I eagerly clicked play on the video. Oh, and no. And what we all saw, what I discovered behind the scenes in the production room since, has left me speechless. I mean, honestly, I don't even know what to say after everything I found out about this. How does this stuff keep happening? It wasn't Lara Croft, the fierce and iconic archaeologist we all know and love, but rather something entirely different altogether. Damn, like, this is what they did to my archaeologist, bro. Holy crap. These niggas don't like women, man. These niggas don't like female characters, bro. These niggas either want to make them girl boss, city queens, strong independent, just got a BBL done. My bad, I don't even know a dad's little princess, but I don't know my daddy. You know what I'm saying? He -he. Got daddy issues, got daddy issues. Like, bro, like, just make a normal chick, man. Like, make a normal chick, bro. Either it's girl bosses, um, uh, 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 you know, Ghost of Tsushima 2 was supposed to happen and they changed it to to that for political reasons. Uh, mass, uh, there are a lot of reports going around, a lot of people upset about that too. Uh, but time will tell us whether that game is gonna be good or not. If the game turns out to be good and historically accurate, then it's fine. But uh, so far what we're hearing is that they canceled Jin Sakai and at one point they were working on it. Maybe we're gonna get that in the future, I'm not sure, okay? Depending on, I guess, how it will go, right? But 
they always do that man they always change it uh at this point i'm hella worried man like i feel like that there this like is gonna kill kratos in the next god of war game bro oh, shit. yeah bro like i feel like that this like is gonna kill kratos in god of war and then it's gonna be like uh, somebody else though maybe lorenzo is gonna show up though yay you never know and this is what they do to and to well established female protagonists movies or games in this uh situation right this is what they do bro holy crap man these like is hate look, woman man these like is hate woman bro like a man with long hair larry croft was the first name that i thought and lorenzo lorenzo now lorenzo brother of when i was watching it and for good reason the design choices are baffling from a sane yeah. human being's perspective she now has broad shoulders a flat chest and muscles everywhere and overall masculine look that strips away her classic femininity yeah. with the trademark generous chest assets Damn. she looks like a he and Ooh. after i saw it i was just like it's really weird like yeah, I get it. There's a lot of things that are going down this road, this direction, and it sucks from all the properties we grew up with and yeah. love to see them turn Damn. to, you know. And, and I'm like, okay, let me do a little bit of research into the background of this because it just doesn't pass the smell test. You know what I mean? Like, you watch it and you're like, there's something off about this. And yeah, you and also it doesn't pass the vibe test. You do not pass my vibe test. <laughs> Know it? Just a few years ago, the director decided to come out as non-binary. Totally mm -hmm. normal. Born, you called yourself in the book a straight being, a heterosexual, straight, yes. a straight being, a, a heterosexual woman. Yes. And during the course of your father's coming out, yes. your father's transgender, you started realizing things about yourself. So what does this mean exactly, non-binary? Yeah, thanks for asking. It is a, a very new thing, and it's uh, part of the trans spectrum. So the word trans means bridge, and a lot of people are familiar with people who go from one to the other, assigned male at birth, mm -hmm. transition, and identify as female. But there are some people who stay on the bridge and who are, I, I describe the people as I'm sort of male, sort of female, sort of both, sort of neither, constantly changing. And I like to say she is fine. When people say she and her, I don't correct them, but when people say they and them, it's like frosting. Oh, and by the way, I don't want to be pissing off the whole non-binary crowd. If yeah. that's what you identify as, have at it. Like, whatever you do in your life, in your bedroom, when you close the door, like I say all the time, I literally don't care. But don't come into my properties and start self-inserting it. Yeah, like, I, I think it's hella cute, like, if you're like, hey, I am in a tech chopper, I am a pashi. <laughs> I, I think it's hella cute. I think it's hella cute. But why y'all suck as... <laughs> Why y'all doing that? Why y'all be doing this? Why y'all second be doing this? This was one franchise and the second franchise is uh, I don't want to name it man I feel like that this is gonna do that the same thing to that franchise You guys know the franchise I'm talking about please do not comment that franchise that game's name It's gonna be one of the biggest games that's coming out next year guys, you know, it's the sixth It's not necessarily the sixth installment, but it's gonna be called mm, six right so i don't want to say the name i feel like that i'm hinting it way too much right now that's the only game on oh, god i'm excited about that's the only game that i'm looking forward to on oh, god and in these seconds ruin them bro. man I i'm gonna become a monk at that point I'll, I'll settle myself on a mountain in tibet on december 32nd of whatever year that game comes out in okay they are saying next year but Bruh. you never know that game can be delayed Damn it, I'm giving way too many hints right now. And self injecting and pushing ideologies of what you believe in over what the series has been propagated to turn into over the course of years and decades into what it is just to push the propaganda and ideologies that you have yourselves. Checking into IMDb, I found the director, Joey Salloway. Salloway, formerly known as Jill Salloway, an American television creator, writer, and director well known for their work on Amazon's Transparent, a show celebrated for exploring LGBTQ themes and six feet. Uh, okay, time out. Tranquilo, puppy chill chill uh, so it was like a it was a sister that became a brother okay uh usually it's like a brother that would become a sister though so my question is that like from sisterhood to now brotherhood welcome to the brotherhood welcome to the welcome to the brotherhood welcome to the welcome to the brotherhood now say welcome to the brotherhood i, I want to know like uh your challenges right now right Bruh. like i want to know like is it tough being a man right now or or not that tough i, I want to know like i want to just uh you know understand i'm trying to understand though i'm trying to learn guys i'm trying to understand
feet under. But since then, Soloway has decided to officially start identifying as non-binary and gender non-conforming and change their name officially from Jill to Joey and 2020. Totally stable thing to do and definitely know what gender that we uh, uh, Was it a brother that became a sister or a sister that became a brother? I th I'm thinking like it's a sister that became a brother. Okay, now I'm confused. Bruh. Now I'm confused. See, being pushed into a cartoon series from someone that would do this, right? Never, never too early for the revolution, I like to say. Um, I want to thank Tiff for being such warm and welcoming hosts for Transparent Season 3, which hopefully you guys will come and check out in a few hours. Um, uh, I think it's a sister that became a brother. Okay, okay, now I'm, yeah, okay, okay. Now, welcome to the brotherhood, guys. Welcome, oh, I mean, welcome uh, him to the, or her or him to the brotherhood. Okay, so I am here to talk about, or maybe investigate this notion of the female gaze. Um, and I hope you read the title up there and you know that it's G-A-Z-E and not G-A-Y-S. Um, I've gotten into trouble when I talk about the male gaze and, and gay men think I'm talking about them. And I have nothing against male G-A-Y-S. Um, I mean, I, I don't like white parties. Uh, so that is one thing I have against them, but... Um, After looking deeper into Soloway's history, it became clear why Lara Croft's design in the Netflix series felt so off. I knew it had to be something, but I honestly wasn't expecting something as this blatant and obvious. Checking into the Wikipedia for Joey Salloway, it says Salloway identifies as non-binary and gender non-conforming and uses they, them pronouns. Okay. In 2020, okay. Soloway announced a name change from Jill to Joey. This, again, is the director of the show, the person in charge of everything. Automatica said, non-binary doesn't exist. It's make-believe pretend delusional denial of reality mental illness. Sad, but it explains a lot. MD Air Friend Rashid said, yeah, it's time to abandon Western media. The response thus far from the community has been overwhelmingly negative. Chin, arms, waist, and no butt. Please, wild bush dog gaming, please. And it's easy to see why fans don't appreciate when a core <laughs> Yo, that's exactly what I was saying overwhelmingly negative and it's easy to see why fans don't they turn Lara into Abby from last of us 2. Oh man, where is that? Oh man He ain't lying he ain't lying. Appreciate when a core beloved character is altered, especially for the sake of adhering to current social norms and agendas. And I use the norms very loosely here because I feel like it's being shoved down everyone's throat, even though we aren't accepting it as normal. The people that are doing this are saying, you better accept it or else we're gonna try to cancel you because this is the way the world works. The problem with this direction isn't that it changes how Lara looks specifically, but also how it sends a message to longtime fans that their yeah. attachment to a character Damn, as she man. was is somehow wrong or outdated. When a character as iconic as Lara Croft is altered in such a way that she no longer represents the traits that made her iconic, it feels like a slap in the face to fans who have supported the franchise yeah. for decades. I could. Bruh, like. Man, like, damn, bro. Like, why do these suckers be doing that to, like. <laughs> to uh, everything, like. Uh, pe everything that's good and people love it, it's like they, they can't just leave it as, as it. They cannot just leave it as it. You can only imagine how Melanie Max gonna feel about this one. <laughs> it doesn't stop at Joey slash Jill either. Turns out that Marielle Hester, now known as REH, was also involved in the production of Tomb Raider on Netflix as a storyboard artist. Ari, who was originally listed as a she from posts from their employment powerhouse studios, now identifies with he slash him oh. pronouns. Welcome to the Brotherhood! Yeah, guys, we gotta welcome. We gotta welcome. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the Brotherhood, man. Welcome to the. Oh <laughs> uh, my God, bro. Uh, li listen, man. If you're a sister watching and you want to join the Brotherhood, let me tell you, it, it, it's a hard being a man. So I, I don't get it though. I, I don't get it. Like why like sisters are becoming brothers now? Like it's like it's kind of like a hard thing, right? Like it's hard being a man. Not everybody's cut out for it, and. Uh, yeah, right? I get it to a certain degree, like, why men want to become females, because, like, it's kind of easy. There are, of course, different challenges for each gender. It's like, you know, like, they got different females, got different struggles. Men, we got different struggles, right? That's the reason why we're different. But, okay, whatever, man. Welcome to the Brotherhood, I guess. Welcome to the Brotherhood, bro.
Welcome to the Brotherhood. Damn. Who Damn, bro. Are you catching on a theme here? And Ari previously worked on the Castlevania animated series in the later seasons, where I didn't watch those, it kind of fell off. I watched the first season and enjoyed it, and everyone was like, stop watching Castlevania, it gets really bad. And I'm like, well, after seeing who was on board afterwards, I'm like, well, it kind of makes sense. It's unfortunate, <laughs> because to be honest, I was genuinely interested in this adaptation. A Tomb Raider series that could expand on Lara's rich lore, her daring adventures, and her evolution as a character would have been so so exciting. Yeah. But no, instead, yeah. what we received is yet another example of woke revisionism, taking priority over quality storytelling and staying true to what the character was iconic for in the first place. And I know I'm saying all this without even seeing the series, but based off just preliminary research it's of the people making the it's show, over. I'm just like, yeah, I don't even need to watch it. I yeah, it, it, it's over, guys. It's over. Whatever you do, do not watch this video, guys. Massive BBC shutdown. Massive news. Uh, it's an update to the story. Uh, Ubisoft it's over for them essentially not sure if you heard it or not and when i say over it means done so gonzo finetto it's over it's joe over don't watch this video check out the video on the left guys check out the video on the left